like and subscribe. Now. What is a fact about the human body that not many people know about? That the body's pH is 7.35 to 7.45 and if any of those scam products that promise to change the pH of your body actually worked, you'd be dead. If you squirt warm water into someone's ear with a syringe, their eyes will automatically turn to the side that you squirted the water. If you use cold water, their eyes will automatically turn to the other side. This feels like some leftover debug code bullsh. Your brain continues to try to revive the body long after the heart has stopped. In some cases 30 hours later there has been found brain activity trying to make repairs to bring the body back. This is used to indicate time of death in murder victims. This makes me very uncomfortable in an existential way. We have a fifth valve in our hearts that seals up right after we're born. Apparently anything similar to that afterwards is a huge surgical procedure. The human body is amazing. Most reflexes never make it to your brain. The sensory aspect travels to the spinal cord and the spinal cord itself sends the muscle movement signals to your limbs. Prime example, touching a hot stopper top by accident and withdrawing your hand so fast that by the time you even feel the burn, the hand is far away. Humans are one of a few species of mammal that oddly don't produce their own vitamin C due to lack of a certain enzyme. Other mammalian species who exhibit this mutation are those contained in the main primates of border haplohini, monkeys, apes, tarsiers, as well as bats, capybaras, and guinea pigs. All other mammals produce vitamin C in the liver. 30% of body waste is excreted via skin. Wash your gym equipment after use please. Apparently about 20% of people have a bony ridge on the roof of their mouth. Most people's palettes are smooth with a very sly bridge. The 20% like me have an exaggerated and more pronounced bridge. Apparently it's most common in women and Asian folk, and I'm neither so that's neat. I always thought it was totally normal. Your brain likes stimulation. If it doesn't get any it will make some up. Some people are more susceptible to it than others. The colors you see before you fall asleep are a common mild occurrence. There are several classes of these hallucinations. Closed eye visuals, which are caused by leaving your eyes closed for a long time. Hypnagogia, which is caused by the onset of sleep. Prisoner's cinema, which is caused by looking into a dark place for a long time. Gansfeld effect, which is caused by blocking out all external stimuli. And Charles Bonnet syndrome. Caused by sight loss, most of these are simple phosphines but some can be whole imagined scenes, or more abstract fractal like imagery. I got the fractal like patterns. I always thought everyone saw that stuff when they closed their eyes. Each one of your eyes has a blind spot where the optic nerve exits your eye into your brain. You can't see it because your brain tricks you not to see. It covers the spot with some made up image of what it thinks fits better with the rest of it. You can test and, um see it for yourself here people who live in extreme conditions for generations adapt in extreme ways for example people that live in high elevations often have larger lungs and different blood makeup or my favorite is the badger people that live on the water and spend a lot of their time diving their spleens have become 50 percent larger in order to store more blood Positive blood type women can have positive and negative blood type babies without issue. Negative blood type women require a shot with antibodies to prevent the mother's immune system from attacking the fetus if it is a positive blood type. When you get conditioned to physical activity, your circulatory system adapts more blood, more vessels, more blood cells. But your lungs really don't. This is because no matter how much blood your heart is able to deliver to your lungs, the lungs still have no problem oxygenating it. This is why your oxygen saturation doesn't drop during exercise, unless you have a heart defect. Is that why regardless of how much I exercise I can't go up a flight of stairs without huffing and puffing? Babies can break their collarbone during delivery. It happens quite often, but heals quickly. My teacher told me that, if it happened to you OFC, you may feel a slightly higher spot on your collarbone, called the callus where the fracture grew back together. Not only is it quite often, sometimes it has to be done deliberately. Me, checks collarbone for a slightly higher spot. Also me, remembers that I've been born via Kizarian. There's a right and a wrong way to swallow and the first swallow pattern you learn isn't the right one. Babies swallow by pushing their whole tongue forward since it's better for nursing. However, 
as you transition to solid foods. You are supposed to change to swallow where you put the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth and roll the food back. Not everyone does, and those that don't are more likely to choke, eat too fast, develop dental problems, and some develop a lisp or distorted sounds as they learn to talk. Okay so I've been trying all the ways in the comments and I discovered I can swallow with my tongue in any position, even poking out of my open mouth, and now I can't remember how I normally swallow. Help. I wonder how many other people are currently gagging on their own tongue trying this out and realizing they never progressed beyond baby swallowing. That sounds all kinds of wrong. Human eggs are small but big enough to be visible to the human eye. They are also the largest cell in the human body. The sperm is the smallest. One of the things that make humans unique from other animals is the fact that there is no actual bone in human boners. All other apes have them, although they are reduced in size and most other mammals do too. Notable exception being rats edit. Rats have them, rabbits don't. We don't know exactly why we are missing this bone called a baculum. The best theory I've seen is that without our actual bone, only relatively healthy male humans can copulate. Humans have, on average, just as many hairs on their body as chimpanzees. Human hair is just a lot shorter and finer, and mostly on my A. In theory humans could breathe a liquid if it was super saturated with oxygen. It wouldn't be easy because the density of liquid being so much higher than air so after 15 minutes or so you would be too fatigued to continue breathing. The hardest part is getting all the liquid out of the lungs so the person doesn't get pneumonia. There is such a liquid. It is called perfluorocarbon. It has proposed uses in diving, space travel, medical treatments and torture. And here I thought that was just a plot device from the abyss. Ah one of those things is not like the others. The shoulder blade is a more complicated joint than you'd think. While the hip is a ball and socket that just rotates, the shoulder can fold forward. If you sit with your back against against the chair, hold your hand on your collarbone, then try moving your shoulder forward. You should be able to move the joint forward without moving your back from the chair. You can live normally with half your brain. In some severe drug-resistant epileptic syndrome in young kids, the only option to stop the seizures is to remove a complete brain hemisphere. After a while, with proper education and all, the children can go on to have a normal life without cognitive deficit. They will have a limping, blindness from one eye and a very weak arm but can lead a normal life and not end up cognitively impaired. One of the earliest signs of Alzheimer's disease, but for the memory loss, could be the loss of the sense of smell. It's also the case with Parkinson's disease. Our brain looks wrinkled because it is actually folded inside our skull in order to fit a maximum of surface and thus neuron cell communications. Some animals like rodents have a completely smooth brain. I worked with a couple kids who used to have seizures as babies and had the connection between the two hemispheres severed. One kid was super wriggly when learning new speech. Not as wriggly when she had mastered that new piece of speech but still a little wriggly. And we theorized that she was learning to talk from her motor cortex. When you have a bowel movement, your heart rhythm shifts temporarily due to a vagus response. The reason Elvis died on the toilet was because his heart was beating 200 plus BPM and the quick rhythm change caused a myocardial infarction. People with low heart rates have been known to pass out on the toilet because their bodies can't handle the shift. It's also why EMTs will absolutely not let you use the bathroom before getting on the ambulance. Especially if the bathroom is a standard 5's 8 feet. 39% of people have an extra bone in their knee. 100 years ago only 11% of people had this bone. Going for 100%. Third knee immunity. The hyoid bone is a bone not attached to any other bones in the human body and is only considered the anchor of the tongue. Every minute you shed over 30,000 dead skin cells off your body. I'm eating lunch while I'm reading this, and wondering how many have fallen into my mac and cheese? Born a petty. Sounds like free panko breadcrumbs. The surface area of the lungs is about the same size as a tennis court. That's crazy. Although it does explain how it can transfer O2 and CO2 so fast. Because many people imagine lungs as balloons while it's more like sponge. That's how you get a lot of area, a lot of very long tunnels. And then your lung surface area is some of all those tunnels in a surface. You can calm yourself down by splashing cold water on your face to trigger the mammalian diving reflex. You can grow a new human being faster than most missing toenails can grow back. I lived this last year. 
I was about a month into my pregnancy when I caught my toe on something in the garage. It peeled back the top half of the nail but I quickly pushed it back down into my surprise the nail stat I on even though it bled then turned black after. I remember being about 8 months pregnant and wondering if the toenail would be finished growing out so no more black showed by the time the baby arrived. I think I still had a sliver of black when I gave birth, so that took about 8 months for just the top half of the toenail to grow out. Thank you. This was horrifying to read. When doing surgery where the doctors have to take out some organs, when placing them back, they don't have to be put back in the exact position they're meant to be, your body kind of just moves the organs into the correct position after the surgery. Yeah I had a pelvic surgery recently and the surgeon casually mentioned oh yeah we moved your bowels around a bit so that's what's causing the gas pains. Medical procedures are always unsettling because the professionals are so used to it so you get things like this where they are not worried but you're like what did you say? Also, when you receive a kidney transplant, they don't usually remove your old ones, because it's very invasive. They just sorta of pop it into a more convenient spot. That's why kidney donors typically have a longer recovery time than recipients. Swallowing has a cooldown. I tried doing it really fast and I started choke coughing and now people in my office are asking me if I'm okay. How do you explain that? Oh. I wanted to swallow fast. What the f? Do what I'm telling you body. Unfortunately. If the body listened to us we would all die very very fast. If you faint at the sight of your own blood you may have an oversensitive esophageal response. The theory is that this developed as a survival mechanism. Kind of like an opism playing dead. Oh I've just always diagnosed myself as a PSY. No. I'm a hospital worker. And it can hit anyone. Some people know it happens to them. And it's nice to be forewarned. But some people can have been fine many, many times before. Then have a one-off episode where it just triggers. The thing I think is interesting is that it can still affect people who are fine with having tattoos or piercings done. My hypothesis is that it's a combination of those feeling different to an intravenous injection and possibly a psychological element tied into feeling less in control at being less your choice when in a medical setting. There are tiny cilia that spin in a certain direction. If they spin in the opposite direction while you're developing in the womb early on. That is how you get organs transposed onto the opposite side of your body. I've heard that some twins can have mirrored organs. Crazy stuff. Yup. Mirror twins happen when twins that originated as one embryo split in two to later than usual. Though mirrored organs are rare even in mirror twins. Mirror twins often have the same birthmark on opposite sides. Cowlicks on opposite sides of the hairline. Or the hair grows out of their scalps in opposite spiral patterns. I remember we had a doctor visit our school during careers week who said he'd met three patients with flipped organs. And each time he called in a medical student and asked them to take the patient's heartbeat. Apparently it was really funny watching the student put the stethoscope on the left side and seeing the color drain from their face. I was housemates with a medical student for a bit and he didn't believe me when I told him this was a thing. Flat out denied it. I'd like to say then he encountered it, but I just pulled up Wikipedia on my phone. But it was still kinda weird how certain he was that it wasn't a thing. Our brains make up, on average, around 2% of our body weight but consume 20% of our caloric intake. The chance of a natural pregnancy with identical triplets is 1 in 200 million. My friend had identical triplets. It was her first time having sex and she got pregnant with triplets. I didn't know it was so rare. Synovial joint fluid is the most frictionless stuff on the planet. Unless they've synthetic something up that recently. It's super lube. I know what I must do. But I don't know if I have the strength to do it. When my car door was squeaky with rust, I put some of my synovial joint fluids on the hinges and now it opens and closes perfectly. Now I just need to reattach my shoulder. Humans have stripes. We just normally can't see them. They are called Blaschko's lines and form along the paths of embryonic cell migration. The stripes are sort of U-shaped down our front, V-shaped on our back, wavy on the head and face and we have basic, simple stripes on our extremities. So, why can't we see them? Usually the differences in pigmentation are so minor that it's just not easily seen. Though there are some conditions that can make the striping more obvious. You can also see Blaschko's lines by using a UV light if the light is strong enough. Pregnant women have 50% extra blood. OMG. 
Is that why they are often said to look radiant and stuff? Yep, the pregnant glow is more blood and oilier skin. Your stomach is surrounded by more brain cells, half a billion neurons, than the brain of a cat contains in total. It's your enteric nervous system. It controls digestion, operates autonomously, has its own memory, can handle its own reflexes, it has its own senses even. It's thought to have come about because of the blood-brain barrier in the main brain being locked away in the skull, a spinal column and nerves away from the critical action of nutrition. I had a friend in college that would always say this was why your stomach feels weird when you use hallucinogens. I always thought he was joking when he would say your stomach has a brain so your stomach trips too. I'm tripping out over this comment WTF. So my stomach has its own mind? Knew it wasn't my fault I was fat. The eyeball is the fastest healing part on your body. Good to know. I'm getting LASIK tomorrow. Prove it. It's possible to pull a jaw muscle while yawning. I found this out the hard way at work one day. My jaw pops in and out when I yawn open my mouth and I don't know why. The human body typically only uses 30% of its muscle strength. The only times where your body will activate full power is when it's life or death. The cost of full muscle power is torn muscles, broken bone, stress, and in some cases, lacerations. Me. Pick up car. Can't do it. Me. Pseudo pick up car. Suddenly able to do it. Your eyes have a separate immune system from the rest of your body and in a lot of occasions if your body's immune system finds your eyes, they will assume they are a foreign body and blind you. WTF. The human body's immune system is a twitchy redneck with a bad eye and a really big shotgun. Certain types of eye injuries often result in the loss of both eyes since the injury to one eye sets off the immune response which kills the other. Peak human evolution. Am I left I just went blind. Right eye my time has come. Eyes have immune privilege, as do the testicles. Eyes have immune privilege, as do the testicles. Diplomatic immunity for the areas that need it the most. When you cry and your nose becomes runny, it's actually your tears. This is because of tear ducts that run from the eyes into the nose, right? Touch between your eyes then push up with your tongue of roof of your mouth. You can barely feel a bone move. If you do this while your nose is stuffed, it will make it drain about a minute later. I have chronic sinus problems. I did this and a whole bunch of snot went pouring down my throat. I'm not mad about it. Lucky you I don't even understand the directions. This feels like one of those things that makes me look like an idiot while people around me are like no no. Keep doing it. It's almost working while trying not to laugh. Our bodies have the ability to perform their own bypass procedures. My grandfather went in for a scan and it showed a 100% blockage in one of his major arteries. The image also showed a new portion of the artery starting 0.25 before the blockage and then rejoining the artery 0.25 after the blockage completely bypassing the obstructed portion. He had never had surgery before this discovery. That there is not 20 pounds of toxic poop in your body at any given time. F those ads, but apparently a ton of people still believe all sorts of ads about some pillow or another being able to flush some imaginary toxins out of your body like it's going to magically cure you of 20 years of terrible eating and exercise habits. You hate the sound of your recorded voice because it's missing the low frequency you're used to hearing. When you talk, you hear your voice as it goes to the air and back to your air. It also goes through your skull to your ear. And this bone conduction mechanism transmits the low frequencies better than air does. Your recorded voice only has the air transmitted sound. That causes the dissonance between what you think your voice sounds like, and what it really does. It's also why your voice will, almost, always be higher pitched than you think. That explains why people say I have a cute little voice when I always heard myself as sounding all baritone for a lady. No so that means my voice sounds like the recordings to other people? Audio engineer here. Yes and no. First off, you are not hearing your own voice objectively. Your brain goes that different and therefore gross where is nobody who isn't you thinks it sounds gross. Second, audio recording isn't perfect. The human ear and psyche is more accurate hearing a voice face to face than over a recording. Third, this is more just personal experience. Everyone talks different when they think they're on mic anyway. The average adult has 22 square feet of skin. Perfect size for an ice rug. You actually need a few bodies for an ice rug because not every part of skin will come out nicely. 
The appendix is not a vestigial organ. It actually protects good bacteria in the gut. You can live without it, but it's not just chilling in there. If you carry a lot of unprocessed trauma, it can cause psychosomatic autoimmune diseases. This is one of my favorite subjects. I wouldn't say that they are psychosomatic personally. We try to separate ourselves from our bodies and that's just a farce. Anyway, it's actually like this. You experience a trauma. That trauma sends your brain into fight flight freeze. You develop PTSD, with which you find yourself being extremely self-protective and hypervigilant to ensure you do not experience that trauma again. Fight flight freeze and PTSD are chemical processes. Your body gets PTSD too. So, the chemistry in your brain is telling your body there is a threat. Your brain is hypervigilant and your immune system is too. You both start seeing threats and things that are not actually threatening. Your immune system starts attacking parts of your body that it mistakes as foreign. This is v simplistic and written on my phone but it is fascinating. It only takes about 15 pounds of force to rip off a human ear. So, like, I could do it, yes. Just grab your ear right now and tug a bit. You'll notice it isn't particularly strong. And a little bit more force you drip it off. Humans feel less satisfaction when they don't gain anything from an interaction. In other words, you get less dopamine, or whatever feel good chemical, when you do something that basically has an equal cost and reward. This has led me to believe that free food does really taste better. It never made sense to me why cupcakes only tasted good when kids brought them in for their birthday. Whenever I'd buy them on my own they tasted worse. I guess it's because my brain knows I spend money on them. Like when you see a movie randomly on TV and watch it and it's better than if you pulled out the DVD Blu-ray or streamed it.